Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start our own portfolio and it's going to be a website. So we start by going to sites. You might have to scroll down to find this. I have mine up top because I use it. I'm going to hit site. I want to add a blank site. I want to go ahead and title this my name. And it's your portfolio of your work. Now right here you can title it anything you want. So I'm going to call it my awesome art. Um, you can change the image to be a picture that you've uploaded from your computer of your own artwork. Or you can select just a random um, kind of a fun background, maybe something like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and toss that in. So it's got a little light source back there. Um, and it's just kind of putting that in there. Um, I can change the header type, get a banner, title only, large banner, um, cover. So I can make this a little bit larger. Um, just our title only, but I think I'm going to leave it the way it is right like that. Um, so there's a readability adjustment and that was it lightened this background to make the words show up a little bit more. And maybe I don't really care about that. And I just want to leave the words like this. Um, so I can do that. So a couple things you can do. Um, maybe I want to stretch this out. Make this come all the way across so it's a little bit higher up here and it's more uh, readable like that. So I want to do that first where I really want to figure out what uh, people are seeing when they first come to my site. Uh, down here is where we're going to start adding our content. So they're called content blocks. Those are going to be the pictures of the artwork we're doing. I'm going to go ahead and start with two different ones. Uh, and then I say, wait, how am I going to get all my artwork in here? I'll show you. I click on a little plus sign and I go to my Google Drive. And then this little guy will show up over here. You should have a folder titled Classroom. I want to click on that. And then I'm going to find the class. I'm going to go ahead and go to fifth period. And there's all the assignments that you had in your fifth period class. So acrylic on canvas, line cubism, mixed media. Think about one of the ones that you really loved. Um, so you want to put maybe something that you really loved in those first two big ones, possibly. Um, maybe you want to change the content and go back and put the just put this one in here. So I'm going to go erase this one. Uh, I'm going to go a little higher up. Just go ahead and erase those two because I really want the best thing to go here. So I'm going to click here and I'm going back to drive. And then I want to click on classroom and you want to click on it. So it doesn't, you're not inserting everything in classroom. I want to find the class. And then I want to find my very best one. So a lot of people like the line cubism that we just did. So I have some really cool ones here, really nice ones. Um, I'm going to just go ahead. This one's kind of a fun one right here, but it looks like his head's kind of cut off. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, I do like this rat. That's a little creepy, but I like it. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this really cool one right here. Now, the problem is it is a little cut off, so I'm going to go ahead and you can make some adjustments. So I'm going to just pull this down and I could have done that with that eagle. And there I've got that little adjustment. Now I have all this stuff around the outside, so I want to start to just bring this in a little bit. Let's see, make that bigger. Let's pull this in a little bit more. and. Hopefully, I'll try to bring it in. You might want to 
make your adjustments to it before you put it in here. So um, it's just like it's easier to actually crop, crop it before it goes in. Hopefully a lot of you guys didn't really take the greatest pictures, but look at how beautiful that piece is. Um, I want to title what it was. So line cubism. And I want to talk to it a little bit. Like I like this assignment because And so kind of explain why you really liked it. It was kind of fun. Um, it was really easy to do the triangles, whatever reason that you really liked that. So you want each, you want to be filling your website with your assignments. So I want to get out of this. So I click on close and then I want to start filling it up again. Now, um, I do want to have an artist statement with at least three of your pieces and then I will give you a rubric for that. Um, I could do the same thing with this one over here. Maybe I'm just going to do two right here. And then I'm going to start adding some other ones. So I go back to drive. I pop into classroom. Make sure you click on it. I go into my class. And then I'm going to go ahead and I really like some of those shaded bags. So I'm going to pop into those. I'm going to find one of the ones that I think uh, probably did a better job cropping their photo. And, and I don't see a ton of, um, I did a great job cropping. Timothy rocked the cropping of the photo. So if I click on it, it takes a minute to load. And... Oh, he has a little white background behind it. That's kind of interesting. Oh, he put his into a Google slide. Um, you might have to save yours if it's in a Google slide. I'm going to go ahead and erase that. So I'm going to pop out of that. Oh, bummer, Tim. So I'm going to go ahead and click those two again. Click on this one. Go to my drive. Remember, I'm going to click on classroom um, and then I want to go to the class. So I'm going to go to this one and let's go ahead to shaded bag. Um, I do love this one right here. So nice. They did the life value chart at one side. Um, I can make this really big and make this one really small. Maybe I really loved this. Um, I'm going to call this shaded bag. Uh, so I put the title of what the assignment was. Um, and then I want a little statement about maybe what, how, why I liked it. I really liked shading all the creases, maybe all the, um, how about parts and I only put parts of the bag because just so you know I do not know how to spell creases um so I've got that so now I'm going to add maybe one that I didn't like as well as this is going to be kind of small I go to classroom I go to my class um I'm going to go ahead and go to uh let's go um, Zentangle. Oh, and these are all so pretty. This one is so beautiful. So I'm going to put that one in there. And then um, let's say I had a, oh, let's put Zentangle. So what it is. And then um, I maybe like how this turned out. But I didn't like um, maybe thinking up the patterns. So um, I'm not even putting a period there. I am not going to be grading on anything like um, 
uh, I'm not going to be looking at things like your um, spelling because I, I would be irritated if people were judging me on my spelling. So I want to get all of my assignments in there. Uh, I want to start to fix this up a little bit. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to just go style one. I'm going to just kind of change a little bit. Let's go style three. Let's go. Oh, I don't know if I like that blue, maybe just a little bit like this. And this will just, um, it just gives us a little kind of a background color. So this one's very subtle. This one's just white. Um, I can also select an image for the background too. We don't want it too crazy. Um, it's nice if we start to fill in a background color on some of these. So when you're looking at it, it kind of looks a little bit more um, interesting. If you want to see what it looks like, um, you can go to this one and it, you can preview it as your computer or what it looks like on a computer and what it looks like on the phone. So let's preview what the website would look like. And so we're going to start by the computer because it's got this lovely little picture here. And this is what it would look like on the phone. So we're going to start with the computer. And it'll take a minute. Maybe we'll pop to phone. And tablet takes a little bit of time just to process. So here's how it looks. Kind of looks fun on a tablet. Um, this is the kind of thing you might want to look at and go, I don't love the way it looks like that on the tablet. So, but on the phone, it looks really nice. I really like it. And then I want to see what it looks like on the computer. And then it looks great on the computer. This one here, I probably wanted to maybe make this a little bit bigger and really have a lot more information about one of my favorite pieces. So I'm going to get to about there. And we want to be there where we're starting to add all your pieces. Keep in mind, you can go ahead and add a couple more things. I'm going to go ahead and add this lovely thing. Um, I'm going to select an image from Drive again. I can take some other images of artwork I have done. Go to Classroom. These ones I know for sure are going to be here. They're assignments that I've done. And maybe I want to stick this right here. Kind of fun. It'd be fun if I cropped that first. It looks really nice. Maybe put another one here from Drive. And then I go ahead and keep adding until every single assignment I turned in is set in inside my portfolio. So I'm going to go scratch board now. Let's go down. I do love this little guy. He's a little creepy. This one's kind of fun. Again, I don't have, I've got a lot of space out here. Probably want to crop that first. Um, I'm going to choose this one right here because it's cropped really well. Really nice. Um, I'm going to go to drive again. I'm going to go to classroom. Of course, you guys are seeing all your work. You should only be seeing your own work when you do this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and these ones are fun. If they're sideways. You probably don't want to put them sideways. Uh, some of them are so nice. I'm going to click on this little guy. And so I'm going to go ahead and make this also blue and just keep adding more content. So I have all of my pictures at least on one page. So let's go ahead and get that done. We'll talk about how to publish later. Uh, get this far, but really see what you can do to um, make this a little bit different. Um, you can change a lot of stuff. Like with this, I'm going to pop out of here. If you want, you can change the theme of yours completely and start running down this little side under themes. And it could change a lot of things that are happening. I actually really like this green better than that blue. So it changed that up with the theme. Maybe I'm going to have a brighter green. Um, maybe I want this color here. What's happening is it's picking up some of these colors that are right here. And it's picking up from here. So it's kind of nice. 
Maybe I want to go to Diplomat. And it went ahead and changed some colors again, which I really like that. Um, I'm going to go to Vision, maybe Level. And so really kind of discover, like, like I want to make an impression, what you want to do first. So you're making yours really cool. So we haven't talked too much about pages or inserting some things. Let's go ahead and get this far where we're starting to have all our pieces that we've done this semester. So go ahead and get to that point. And the next day we will start to do some more, but let's really make your website your own.